Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And today's Tuesday tip is a lot of tips, but it's all concerning one thing. Why does the sewing machine needle break? The sewing machine needle is probably the smallest notion that we need to sew. But we cannot run a sewing machine without one. And there are a few reasons why these needles will break as you are sewing. The first one and the most common one does involve having the machine set up. If your machine is not threaded right, it can cause that needle to break. What happens is the thread can cause loops. Those loops cause knots. The knots cannot pass through the eye of the needle. It puts pressure on that needle, so that needle will snap. That same snapping can happen if the thread is not on correctly. We can have the thread going in the horizontal spindle and it can come in a vertical spindle. Threads that are woven where you can see it looks like little X's need to come off of the spool horizontal. Threads that are coming up and down in straight lines needs to come off in that straight line. So it needs to sit vertically. Even if you have the machine threaded right, there are a few things that can happen. Some spools of thread have little notches on the end. And those notches are there to hold the thread for us. Well, as this thread spins around, if the thread is coming off in this area and gets caught on there, it's going to put that pressure on that needle and snap it. So be sure to have the thread coming so it's not going to get caught on that little notch. Occasionally when we go really fast, the thread can get caught around these other little keepers and snap. And if this little cap is on too, too tight, this doesn't have a chance to have a little bit of give. It can also put too much pressure on the thread. Too much pressure on the thread means the needle will break. Some spools have big holes in them and we only have a very small little pin. So this can wiggle inside. That wiggling can also put that wrong pressure on the thread, which can break the needle. If the tension of the thread is not correct and it's too tight, the thread cannot pass through that needle, so it can also snap it. Having an incorrect bobbin for your machine or not having the bobbin incorrectly can also cause that. So check and make sure that your bobbin is correct and it's put correctly in the machine. If we have a large buildup of lint inside, the thread will get caught around that lint, putting pressure on the thread, that will break the needle. It's also very important that this needle is all the way into this little end. If it's not up all the way, the needle is too long and it will snap on the bobbin. Be sure that that flat part of the needle is in the right part for your machine and be sure to have this little screw tight enough so that that needle is not wiggling. Pushing that fabric too much or holding that fabric will also cause it to break. We have the feed dogs trying to pull that fabric at the speed that the machine is set at. But if we're forcing it or holding it back, the machine cannot go at that right speed. So it's important that we let the feed dogs do the work and we just get to guide it. Of course, sewing over those pins will break the needles. If we're doing a zigzag and we don't have the right foot or the plate will break the needles. If we have a very fine needle, we're trying to force that needle to go through a heavy denim. The needle is trying to go down, but it's not strong enough. So as that needle goes down, it's going to start to bend and, well, we get that break. The needle is designed so that the weight is evenly put on this tiny little shaft. It's going to go right down and come right up. If at any point this little tip has a little bend, that's what will snap that needle because the pressure is not even in that needle. Very much like a nail going in the wall. 
the nail starts to go in crooked, it's going to bend and break. The nail needs to go in perfectly straight to be able to hold the weight that it's designed for. Sewing machine needles are the same. And that little sharp point is like a good knife. As long as it is sharp, it's going to work. Over time, just like that knife edge, that little end will get dull, it will bend and break. And sometimes we cannot see if this is bent or dull. Sometimes the bend is up in this area, but it can also be at the end. And it's so small, it's very hard sometimes to recognize if that needle is old, bent, or dull. So it is important that we change this needle often. That needle goes through that fabric thousands of times, so it will get dull and it can break over time. So it's important to change this needle often and be sure to have the right needle for the right project. So there's definitely more than one reason why that sewing machine needle will break. So I hope one of those little tips will help you solve the problem of why does my sewing machine needle break? And thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.